Hi there and welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane and in today's video it's all about how to embellish freestyle embroidery on the back of your patch pockets. Hi, welcome back and uh, before I continue with today's little tutorial, what am I wearing? I am wearing one of my favourite, as you probably know if you follow me, one of my favourite tops which is a Somerset tee with these fabulous deep cuffs and like boat neck by Maven Patterns and this in this really pretty daisy fabric that I got from First for Fabrics and I'll put the links for both of those companies in the box below as usual. And also before I continue, thank you so much for all your lovely uh, comments. I'm so thrilled that you're enjoying my um, little mini series on making knickers. And I've had quite a few requests since the last one on my block, how I made my block. So I'm gonna have a little tutorial uh, coming on Sunday on how I made my knicker block just to help you if you want to have a go yourself and just what I did. So that's coming on Sunday. Um, so yeah, so just really just a little tutorial when you're making your patch pockets, do a little bit of embroidery on them. Now I was going to do some embroidery on my Jenny jeans. Um, I'll put a link for that vlog up there. But if you remember, I had such so much of a debacle getting that zip in that by the time I got the zip in I'd lost the plot and I forgot to top stitch the back of my pockets because I wanted to put a little design on it. So I thought well I'm still going to do it on future jeans or future trousers and I just thought well I'll just show you what I do and how I do my top stitching. So I'm just going to head on over to my cutting table to show you what, what I do and hopefully just give you a little bit of inspiration or maybe you've never tried it before and just to give you a little bit of an idea what you can do. So I shall see you over there. So right, so how I do embroidery on the back of my pockets, I thought I'd just share it with you. It's really entirely how you want to do it. It's really the only thing that's stopping you is your creativity. So just go for it. I wanted to do my design on my Jenny pants. If you remember the ones I made not so long ago, but I had such a rigmarole getting that flipping zip in that I completely forgot to do some freestyle embroidery on the back of those pockets. So I thought, well, I'll still show you what I would have done if I'd, if I'd put them on the jeans. And I've been kindly asked to review some Guterman top stitching thread. They have kindly sent me this lovely pack. Uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. They just sent me it and asked if I would like to do a review. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to test out this thread. So this is the pack that they sent me, but you, obviously you can buy individual packs. 100% recycled polyester it is, and it's really strong and obviously very thick. So obviously to use this thread, if you're going to use top, I mean, you don't have to use top stitching thread. You could quite easily just use your own normal machine thread if you wanted, but obviously the top stitching thread does show up a little bit stronger and I'm using my jeans needles in my machine because obviously you need a nice sharp needle to go through the obviously thick the denim and obviously it's got a bigger eye so you can get your top stitch and thread through. When I go over to the machine and show you what I'm doing I have I will have one of these top stitch and threads in the top part of the machine but I wouldn't use it in the bobbin because it is very thick I would just use a matching thread in the bobbin of my machine. I'll show you when we go over there. So if I use red, obviously I'll just have a red thread that matches it just in normal cotton thread. So that's the top stitching thread. And I'll just show you some designs that I've had a go at, had a play at, and show you how easy it is to just do your own. So I will use the template from the Jenny, uh, the Jenny overalls, the Jenny jeans. So I've just used this as a template for you in this, obviously this tutorial, and I've got some leftover uh, denim from those trousers. So all I've done is just created a blank template off that. I'll show you a couple of that I've had a go at beforehand. So hopefully you can see this is using the gold, the gold thread on top of this. So it's quite subtle. And let me just zoom in so you can maybe see a little bit better. 
And all I did with this one was divided my pocket in half and then in half again. And I made um, a mark for the middle, the mark for the middle for each end, and a mark for the middle for the on the top. And then I just got my, my ruler and my fabric pen that uh, disappears with the heat of the iron. And from the middle one, I just drew a line across the middle one. And then I just used half an inch gap for the next and half an inch gap down for the next. And the same for the vertical stripes. So I did exactly the same. And then I literally just freestyled. Now I didn't have to freestyle with this. I could have just left the normal foot on because we're working with straight lines. And I could have just literally straight stitched down those lines and again with these but I freestyle these so that was one design and obviously that's the colour on the colour and again this is freestyle went a bit wonky there so if I was if I was doing this I'd probably unpick this row and do it again but you get my drift it doesn't have to be perfect either if you're doing freestyle embroidery that's a whole idea of it. it's freestyle and you just go with the flow uh, but just it's just an example of what you could do and again I just drew no I didn't draw at all on this one I just went for it I went from the middle the middle line first and I just literally did a woof and then I came down here and kind of kept the same distance went a little bit wonky there but anyway and then I came down and then I did a third and I came in and then went a little bit wonky there and down but obviously you get the idea and I'll show you some more that I've been playing around with and we'll do one on the machine and I'll just show you how easy it is on the machine. For this example, I just cut out some of my pattern trace paper. I'll put the link for that pattern trace paper as usual in the box below. So again with this one, I kind of used my template just for the width and the length of the pocket uh, and I just folded it in half so I could get roughly the center of it. And then I literally drew three horizontal lines with my ruler. And then this one, I just free freehand drew that little curve at the bottom. Here's another version that I did. And I've just pinned it on to my pocket underneath. And this one, you can literally stitch on the paper, stitch through the paper if you wanted to do it that way and follow the lines that way so there is an option but again this is another simple design simple but effective and you can literally sew straight stitches on this again so you wouldn't need to do any freestyle if you don't want to and this is a simple one that you could literally just draw straight onto your fabric again but this is just an option if you wanted to do your, use your paper so let's just bring this one on so there I will just line it up with I've got the marker there the marker there there and there one in the middle so for this style I might want it lined up in the middle and maybe put it there and then if I want to do sew it on leave it there I would then obviously pin it and then I could literally sew over the lines freestyle if I didn't want to draw straight on the fabric so you can do it two ways the only thing is when you top stitch over the paper you might be left with little bits of tissue that you have to pull out it's no big issue so I'm going to take this one over to the machine and then um, I'll show you how I do my freestyle right so I'm at my machine and hopefully you can see I've got my freestyle embroidery foot on so all you would do is, is you, if you've got an, obviously a freestyle embroidery foot, you take your normal foot off and you would attach your embroidery foot to your machine and you need to drop the feed dogs. So if you're not sure where the feed dogs are, I'll just take off my little table there. Your feed dogs, on, well on my machine, mine's a brother, there's a little switch at the back of the machine here and you just slide it to once to the opposite direction that it's in and it drops the feed dogs which means you can move the fabric around freely without the feed dogs getting in the way and stopping obviously the feed dogs like to push the fabric whereas when they're down nothing moves it's only the fabric when you move it so you need to make sure you've done that and i've set my stitch length to three and a half so let's have a go at using the tissue paper and i'm literally i've just pinned it where I want it to be on the pocket. Hopefully you can see that okay. And I'm just gonna start here and freestyle on this line here. 
and I just get my needle where I want it to be and literally you just hold the fabric that you do you're sewing on and literally go for it so let's just go for it oh one more thing the faster you go the smaller your stitches will be so if you go nice and even your stitches obviously will be even and obviously the slower you go you'll have longer stitches so if you go too fast they'll end up being tiny tiny little stitches so just try and get a nice gentle pace and if it's a lot easier you can set your machine you set it on the slowest and then you can't go any faster than that and it's a nice steady steady pace i'm just going to put mine a little bit faster than that and you just literally hold your fabric taut flat on your machine bed and literally follow follow your lines that you've drawn And if you look at it like that you're drawing, you're drawing on the fabric, that's how I look at it. Not too bad, managed to keep on the lines. So I can either continue on freestyle with my lines or I could change my foot and just put my normal foot back on. But I shall just freestyle the lines. So that's my design. So you just literally tear your paper off. And it should, you might have to pick a few bits off like so, uh, if you wanted to do it this way, it just tears off. So for this example, I've just uh, put the feed dogs back up. I've just put my normal uh, foot on my machine and I've drawn out my pattern that I want just using my heat erasable pen and I'll just show you top stitching just the normal way if you don't want to do freestyle and it just well it's just normal just stitching really but I'll just show you there you go there's another example of just putting your own design on the back of a pocket Obviously I've used the navy blue on this one which looks quite nice as well on the mustard and I've got my heat erasable pen which one, as soon as I iron it it's going to come off and one more thing on the freestyle um, embroidery I shall quickly show you on a last pocket that I've got and I've got my embroidery foot on again and complete freestyle so that it doesn't have to look equal so if you're worried about getting your freestyle uh, lining up with the next row that you've done you can always do it this way so let me just show you so I've just done a nice squiggle on that side and I might want to come in from this side and do something else so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like a mirror image it can just literally be another freestyle pattern so there you go there's just another example of how you can just draw on your fabric and it doesn't have to be an even uh, design it can just literally literally be freestyle and just random however you feel and at the end of the day they are jeans do whatever you want with the back of your pockets um, so yeah, so that's just a few examples of what you can do. Have lots of fun designing like I do. So, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to embellish your patch pockets. There's the one I did in the red freestyle. There's the one that I did in the mustard colour. Um, so that's the mustard version. That's the navy blue version that was using just the normal foot on the machine. No freestyle on that one. But you can always go for some a design, something like that, where it's not even, it's not equal, it's not symmetrical or anything like that. And then it doesn't really matter. The only thing that's limiting you is your imagination. So just, just go for it. And then when that's on the back of a pocket of a pair of jeans, just imagine it folded over. So there, I've, rough, I've roughly pinned it just to give you an idea of what the back of your patch pocket would look like when you've put it on your jeans or your jenny trousers or your pietra pants or whatever it is you're making how pretty is that freestyle and it's yours no other design in the world is ever going to be the same because it's something you've designed not only is the front of your trousers going to look great but the backs are going to look great with your design pockets so 
Hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, don't forget thumbs up. And if you've just found me, please don't forget to subscribe. That really makes my day when you subscribe. And um, yeah, so I'm off to prepare that knicker block tutorial for you. And that's coming on Sunday. And then I've got lots of other things planned too as well. So stay tuned for that. But until the next time, thanks for joining me today. As always, please take care. And as I always say, be confident and be happy and get sewing.